Uh, welcome to my talk today. Uh, today I'm going to walk everyone through the key building blocks of an OpenSearch dashboards plugin. Uh, it can seem pretty complicated at first, but I hope after this talk you have some more confidence in making your first contribution or even your first plugin. Okay, so a quick agenda of today. Uh, first, we're going to do a little intro on what OpenSearch Dashboards is exactly, as well as its plugin ecosystem. Uh, then we'll walk through some of the core interfaces that your plugin should implement, both on the public side of things and the server side of things. Uh, along with this, we'll walk through some code for a demo plugin that I developed for this talk. And then finally, we'll have a demo of building that plugin and installing it into a production grade open search dashboards instance. And then there'll be some time for questions. Uh, so first, a little bit about me. I'm Derek Ho. I'm a software engineer at AWS working on the open search project. And currently I'm on the security team where I contribute to the security and security dashboards plugins. Uh, so first, let's uh, do a little intro for those of you who don't know. Uh, open Search Dashboards is an open source visualization and analytics platform, uh, mainly used to visualize and analyze your data from one or more underlying Open Search clusters. Uh, the main tech stack that it uses is a uh, Node.js web application, and the user-facing code is mainly React and TypeScript or JavaScript. Uh, next, next, let's cover what a dashboard plugin is exactly. Uh, a dashboard plugin is a way to extend and customize the core functionality that OpenSearch dashboards provides. Uh, it's also a way for you to expose your own plugin's functionality for consumption in other plugins. So we can think of it as a modular building block for OpenSearch dashboards. Uh, at the end of the day, all a plugin is is a class which is integrated with the lifecycle methods of open search dashboards. Uh, so those are setup, start, and stop. We'll see that in a little bit. Uh, your plugin can have both client side code and or server side code, which is what would interact with your open search cluster. And so, uh, one little tidbit is that some of the most uh, well-known features of open search dashboards, like discover, visualize, or dev tools, these are all uh, plugins under the hood. So uh, that makes it all the more important to know how to contribute to a plugin or write your own. Uh, okay, so let's get into the technical side of things a little bit. Um, the, fir the first most important part of your plugin is its manifest file. Uh, so this is required by open search dashboards and basically tells it how to interact with your plugin. Uh, there are a few mandatory fields and a lot more optional fields. I'll be going over some of those uh, in this little snippet. Uh, so the ID is a unique identifier for your plugin. Uh, version and open search dashboards versions uh, tells open search dashboards what version it's compatible with, both uh, both for open search and open search dashboards. Uh, next, we have two Boolean flags, uh, server and UI which tell open search dashboards whether your plugin has server side code and or UI side code. Uh, and finally, an optional field, uh, but highly used is required plugins and optional plugins, which tells open search dashboards if your plugin is depending on any other plugins from open search dashboards. So in this case, our demo dashboards plugin will use the management overview plugin. Uh, okay, so if you have specified uh, the UI Boolean flag is true, then OpenSearch dashboards will look for you to implement the plugin interface in the public folder of your plugin. Uh, so we can see here this interface is uh, pretty simple. It just has the lifecycle methods that I was talking a lot about a little bit earlier. Uh, setup is called when OpenSearch dashboards is setting up and initializing your plugin. Uh, so here is where you can like register your plugin with open search dashboards and or other plugins that you declared a dependency on. Uh, start is called when open search dashboards and your dependent plugins are fully ready. So this is where you can perform any more dynamic behavior like uh, fetching data, initializing background tasks, or calling other plugin services. 
Uh, finally, we have stop, which is called when open source dashboards is shutting down. Uh, this is where you can perform any teardown operations, clean up, or close any listeners that you're using. Uh, it's important to know that if you have declared any dependencies uh, for your plugin, then those will be provided to you in the setup and start methods via the plugins parameter, the second one there. Okay, so regardless of if your plugin has any dependencies, uh, open search dashboards will provide a set of generally useful services to your plugin uh, during uh, the setup and start phases via the core setup and core star parameters. So two highly used ones that we'll be going over here is application setup, uh, which is coming from the core setup uh, this is where you can register your application with open search dashboards, uh, both on the left-hand navigation menu as well as uh, through a unique URL. Uh, next is HTTP start. This is uh, open search dashboards abstraction over making HTTP requests to open search dashboards uh, backend server. Uh, so. Here's a little code snippet uh, where in the core, in the setup lifecycle method for our demo plugin, we will register ourselves first with application setup. Uh, so the ID is also the URL that our plugin will live in. So if you navigate to uh, open search dashboard server with demo dashboards plugin endpoint, then your UI will be displayed. Uh, next, we have the title and order, which define what, uh, how your plugin is shown on the left-hand navigation menu of open source dashboards. Uh, order is like where uh, on the left-hand navigation menu it will be relative to other plugins. And finally, we have the mount function, which is used in order to actually render your UI when the user navigates to it. Uh, here we can see that we're uh, using core setups get start services in order to asynchronously load in the start dependencies. And the next little block here is simply we're using the management overview plugin dependency that we declared in our manifest file in order to register our plugin with management overview plugin. Okay. And before we move on to the server side of things, uh, an important thing to know for front-end developers is OUI, which is a design library of shared components for developing your plugin and open search dashboards. Uh, the purpose of this library is to reduce developer time by sharing code for commonly used components like forms, date pickers, or spacers. And you get this for free uh, for your plugin via open search dashboards. And here are two useful links. Uh, here, the first one is the uh, storybook where you can see all of the different components as well as the parameters that they take and what those parameters do. And then the second is the uh, GitHub repository where you can contribute to the library. Okay, so uh, moving on to the server side of things, it looks almost identical uh, because it is, but uh, the core setup and core start will be slightly different and more tailored towards interacting with your open search plugin, uh, open search uh, cluster. Uh, the overall structure and when those lifecycle methods are called are pretty similar. Uh, so one thing that we'll be going over today is the uh, HTTP service setup uh, provided to the server side plugin via core setup. This is where you will register any custom routes for open search dashboards for your plugin to access, or your plugin or other plugins to access. Uh, so the, so the, uh, sorry, the HTTP service setup creates uh, iRouter via the create router function. Uh, this acts as the bridge to your open search dashboards backend. Uh, so each route, such as get, post, or delete on the iRouter is a route registrar where you can register a custom endpoint as well as a handler function that gets invoked when that custom endpoint is called. 
So here we can see that uh, when given an instance of an iRouter, we can register a custom demo dashboards endpoint uh, on the get route registrar. And when the public side of uh, open search dashboards makes a get call to that endpoint, we will invoke the business logic of the handler function. So in this case, all we're doing is making a backend request to the open search cluster and getting the current JVM heap usage from the cluster stats API. Okay, and uh, we'll finish up here with just some common developer um, conventions for open search dashboards plugins. Uh, the first is the common folder, which is where code and constants shared between your public and server folder should live. So in the previous example, if in the public side of things we're uh, making an API call to the uh, custom API route, and on the server side of things we're handling that same API route, then that uh, constant should live in the common folder. Uh, this is necessary due to Open Search Dashboard's plugin build process in which the public, the public folder code is bundled and minified, and therefore we cannot have any shared places except for this special common folder. And next, uh, Open Search Dashboards provides a useful feature for plugin developers, uh, which is a development environment. Uh, you can run this via yarn start, uh, which Open Search Dashboards exposes in its package.json. Um, this development environment is useful and provides features such as hot reloading, which can speed up developer time by providing instant feedback on delivering uh, customer-facing features. Uh, next is Yarn OSD Bootstrap, which will, when run, will install your plugins dependencies, uh, build and link internal packages and plugins. So this is a useful command to run when you ch add or change any dependencies for your plugin. Uh, and finally, we have uh, how Open Search Dashboards will build your plugin. So Open Search Dashboards provides a useful set of utility functions, uh, some of which are other plugins and or scripts that live within the Open Search Dashboards repository. Uh, in this demo, we're going to utilize the plugin helpers utility function, uh, which exposes a build function that will build a executable zip of your plugin. Okay, so next we're gonna see a quick uh, demo video of the build process and installation process into a uh, live running instance. Okay, so here we see that we have an open search dashboards production cluster running on 5601. Uh, there are no plugins installed except for the default ones that come with open search dashboards itself, like Discover. Uh, next, we have our demo plugin code here. The, we have the common folder with our API endpoint. Um, we have the uh, plugin interface implementation in the public folder where we are registering ourselves with open search dashboards and the management overview plugin. And the UI is pretty simple. All it's doing is going to make a get request to that custom endpoint that we defined in the server side of things, and then using some common OUI components to render a simple UI to show the current heap usage. And next, for the server side of things, we create an instance of the iRouter via the create router function, and then we define the demo dashboards endpoint, as well as the business logic of getting the current JVM heap usage. Uh, finally, we're using the aforementioned uh, plugin helpers build command, which will run here. And we can see that once that was successful, the plugin helpers utility will create a build folder in our plugin along that contains the executable zip file of our plugin. So next we're going to stop our open search dashboards instance, and then we're going to use a utility function 
uh, that open search dashboards provides in order to install our plugin that we just uh, built. It's important to note here that you can also provide a URL, for example, so you can host your plugin zip file somewhere online and download it that way as well. Okay, and we can see that uh, we transferred that file and OpenSearch Dashboards was able to install it into itself. Uh, next, we're going to simply restart our OpenSearch Dashboards instance. And when we refresh the page again, we'll see that our demo plugin is now installed in the left-hand navigation menu of OpenSearch Dashboards. And when we navigate to it, it, the URL is the specified unique identifier. And uh, when we click the refresh button, it's making that get request to the custom API endpoint, which is then calling the OpenSearch clusters uh, cluster stats API. Here we can also see that in our management overview plugin, we have also successfully registered ourselves in that plugin as well. Okay. Uh, so that's it for my demo. Um, here are some generally useful resources if you want to learn more or get started with developing your plugin. Uh, the first is a blog post by Ashwin that goes more in depth on plugins and how they fit into the OpenSearch dashboards ecosystem. And the next is a utility function OSD plugin generator, which will help generate a scaffolding for your plugin based on a few yes, no questions like, do you want to include client side code and or server side code? Uh, regardless of if you use this or not, I hope this talk has given you some more confidence in uh, contributing to plugins or developing your own. Uh, yeah. So now I'll have some time for any questions. <laughs>